Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Moride motorized cord storage reel. And this storage reel is going to be a really easy and convenient way to keep all of your RV's power cords uh, rolled up and stored away. So rather than having to lug them around uh, yourself, dealing with a big wadded mess, uh, this is going to keep that all organized and it's going to be very easy for you to reel in, unlike the manual reels that you have to do, um, put a lot of elbow grease into. And this is going to be powered, so it's going to do all that work for you. This is going to store up to 30 feet of uh, RV power cords, whether they're 30 amp or 50 amp. Now, those power cords are sold separately, but I do happen to have a 50 amp cable here. Uh, to demonstrate, this is a 25 foot long cable. So you can see we can put it right through the center there. And then I'm going to pull it off to the left side. We've got this toggle switch up here on the top. And that's going to allow us to retract or extend out. So I'm going to start retracting this. I'm just going to guide the cable as it's winding up. So you can see how easy that is. Uh, I'm not gonna do the whole cable here, uh, but you can see how that is just very easily pulling that in. I don't have to work very hard at all to just align uh, where that cable is gonna be. Uh, this rocker switch will also allow us to extend that cable out, or we also have this uh, T handle here that's going to allow us to very easily undo that so that we can free pool spool the uh, cable out. Uh, as you saw there, it did come uh, out quite a bit, but once if you had the whole thing rolled up and you were to release the gears with that side assembly, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about that. It would only pull out at the pace that you want it to. Uh, so this is going to be very easy to get installed. Uh, it does come with these screws so that you can mount it. Uh, you can mount this in just about any orientation. Uh, you can put it on the floor, upright like we have here. You can mount it from the ceiling, in an upside down orientation. You could even mount it uh, horizontally like so. Uh, so really, any way that's gonna fit your compartment best, uh, this will work in any of those orientations. You just wanna make sure that wherever you're mounting is gonna be able to uh, withstand the weight of the reel and cord put together, um, and they do recommend that the mounting surface be able to support at least five times that combined weight. So you wanna make sure that it's gonna be very stable for it uh, to make sure that it can hold up to that weight. Uh, in order to know where you're gonna be able to mount this, you will need to know some dimensions. Uh, so this is gonna be right about 16 and three quarters of an inch long, so just under 17 inches long. Our width here, widest part is probably gonna be the blades. So we're looking at right about 13 inches. And then our height, we're just over 14, we'll call it 14 and 1 eighth of an inch tall. This will very easily connect to your 12 volt power source. You've got your black and red wires here that you can uh, just hook up a couple of butt connectors, get those connected to your 12 volt power source. This is only going to draw about 10 amps uh, on your RV system. Uh, so it's not going to take up much, uh, not going to uh, draw much energy at all. Uh, and it is made here in the USA. So you can trust it's made to the high quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. I am gonna hook this back up and connect that cable one more time so you can kind of see how long it will take uh, to pull in that full 25 feet. So again, I'm just gonna stick this in, pull it off to the side there and start reeling it back.
So it's going to allow us to get that full 25 foot long 50 amp cord put in place here. I could extend it back out or I can easily pull on that T handle there. As you can see, that's gonna allow it to free spin so I can pull out whatever length I need. So that's gonna complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.